What's up, everybody? Welcome into What You Heard Review. Yes, yes, yes. Subscribe to become part of the tribe. Do us right and hit that like and comment if you are rocking with the content. Now, you know what I'm saying? Man, we got a, a good one for you guys today. This has nothing to do with music. It has zero to do with music. But it's something that we've been wanting to do for a while. Yeah. And we're going to do more of them. Yeah. And I'm yeah. sure you guys saw the little, you know, thumbnail. For sure. So you know what we're going to be talking about. Yeah, man. We're talking about that UA3. Mm-hmm. Umbrella, Umbrella Academy, Academy Season 3, three man. Uh, this is, by the way, this is going to be a spoiler. Um, there's I don't know how be, much we're going to talk about. Spoilers, there might be there, there, might, there be might be some spoilers things, up in here. There's going to be things we're going to be talking about that yeah. you might not go watch it, and then come back and watch what we think about. Yeah, and the score we give at the end too. So we, first of all, I want to know. Leave a comment down below. Are you already a fan of the oh, Umbrella Academy? Yeah. There's two seasons that have come out. Mm-hmm. Uh, it is on Netflix. Yep. Um, so if you do know, if you if you're here, then you know what the show's about, right? Okay. Right, Hopefully, right. if you're here and you don't know what the show's about, and you want to hear what it's about. Kind of the premise is you've got these kids, right? Kind of that uh, are young adults. I would young say young adults mm-hmm. that were born uh, with heroic with powers, right? And they have been assembled. And now we are in season three. Y'all got to go watch the first two if you haven't oh, watched dude, it. Oh, dude, it's so much deeper than that. It's so much deeper than that. But, so I mean, than that. but like, that's the best synopsis you can do. That's it. I'm not like, getting too deep into it. If you yeah, don't know what it is, bye, so bye, much. bye. Go watch it, okay? <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. No, um, that's, that's So true. season three, man, uh, it ends off season two where they have now left the past travel to what they think is the present it is the present right it is um it's just but because they have changed the past everything is different they're back at the crib dad is there and there's all these other superheroes in the house that the, lives there the sparrows the, the sparrow the, academy the sparrow academy yep and so and that's it starts really, that's off really kind of interesting. The first episode's far. Go ahead. <laughs> the first episode is awesome. They dad. just start scrapping off top, bro. Well, what's really funny is they start dan- they have a dance off in the beginning, and I'm like, "What the oh, hell dude, is I happening?" Was tripping. I was like, "What?" I was like, "Is this because this- I you it, when you don't watch a show for a while, right?" Mm-hmm. And even though I, I watched the recap or whatever, right, you're still trying to get remember everything that that's happened right. over like the past couple of seasons, right? For sure. And then it's just immediately this happens, right? They start, oh, we got to settle this, you know, and they start dancing. And I'm like, right. what is happening? And it's that girl that spits the, like, the venom. venom. Uh-huh. She's on the sparrow. And it goes on Diego's face. On Diego's face. And, and he he's, having this whole he's the one thinking of it. Imagining this. I'm like. Out of all the people, why did he imagine? Like, oh, we got to sell this the old school way. <laughs> Homeboy just starts. <laughs> they have this whole dance thing. It's like and a five-minute like, scene, they're like, too. They're, they're like, how do we know how to do this? You know what I mean? They're just dancing. <laughs> it's hilarious. But then he gets out of that trance, and then they start actually fighting. And yeah. they actually bulk. I, the they, Umbrella they was, Academy they basically gets their ass they, 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 they got their butts yeah, yeah, whooped yeah. until uh, Vanya at the time mm-hmm. uh hits him with that explosion stuff right right um and, and then, then somewhere in this it. world there's this guy named uh lester is it lester lester pocket right what go what are you what are you talking about the 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 guy with the headphones like not in, like off in the distance as all this other stuff is happening, there's this guy. Oh, Lester oh. is it Lester v- uh, Vanya's or Victor's um, uh, the kid that she was in the past? Yes. So, but, but um, his name was Lester. Was it Lester dude, Pocket? S- uh, I can't remember all their names, dude. Just, I'm trying to remember. Not, that wasn't his real name. That was he had changed his name. Okay. Anyways, yeah, anyways, I know he's he, off in the distance, yeah, yeah. like just off in the cut. And they just keep showing him, and nobody knows why he's there. Okay. Right. Mm-hmm. So then. All this weird stuff is happening. People are dis dogs are disappearing. 
There's well, so much stuff is going on, man. Umbrella Academy be having like twenty things well, going we on. We got to talk about the okay, okay. Oblivion Hotel, though, because they get so they go back to their house. You go back to their house, and they get kicked out by the Sparrow Academy because it's not literally, their house anymore. Literally kicked and they're out in a different timeline. Yeah. So they go to the Oblivion Hotel mm-hmm. where they take up residence. They don't know at the time that their dad, who is Reginald something Hargrave, I believe Reginald Hargreaves, uh, is. Um, Owns that hotel. Owns the, they didn't know. They don't know that till like later on. But anyways, it's the Obsidian. It's the Obsidian in this timeline, in this world. The Obsidian Hotel. You're right. In the other universe. You're right. In the, the other Oblivion Oblivion hotel. hotel. You're right. It is the Obsidian. You're absolutely right. So this deals. This this season deals with timeline reconstruction. So and like a multiverse and a deal. multiverse inside have of that. You notice that like a lot of people have been doing that. Oh, really, for sure, recently? yeah, dude. Yeah. And I love it. Now. I love. Come on now. That's some of my favorite um, stuff to watch. Is like weird time, multi-dimensional stuff. Like we need, I find we need it a Dan, we need a Danny Myers uh, sound pad. <laughs> do you believe in a parallel, parallel universe? universe? Yeah, I sure. do. <laughs> That's for sure. We for sure. Do, so yeah. yeah, man. So, um, but there's a lot of stuff happening. There's a lot of stuff and then happening. Everybody kind of splits, like how most TV shows do when there's a lot of characters. Yep. They kind of go in their different directions. Obviously, they come back at the right. end, right? Um, I want to mm-hmm. talk about one of the main guys in this show who has become my favorite guy of the whole series. Okay, this is interesting. Yo, Klaus is the absolute oh. best, dog. I've always loved Klaus's but character. But they really, really dove into him this this uh, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. like him, and then he discovers like he has a whole new power. He can't die, right? But which his- is fire, bro. <laughs> They're like, wait, all those times weren't near death experiences? Like, nah, bro, no, you, you actually died. died. You've died all these times. He was like, yeah, I was playing. Uh, we were playing bus ball with dad. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, getting oh, hit by man. the bus over and over You're and over dying, again, dude. Man, that was so. And hilarious. then it got quicker and quicker when he came back to life and found like, like that's part of his power yeah, as well. That's crazy. That's I so, love that, dude. I was I, so nasty. I was like, that's fire. By the way, one of the one of my favorite scenes in there is when uh, his the dad, they're going through the portal in the hotel, and <clears throat> the dad says, we don't have room for you here, and pushes Klaus out and closes the door, mm-hmm. and he doesn't want to die with because the universe is being eaten up by this, this uh, I can't remember what they called it, but it's like a, a universe eater, basically, right. like a black hole. God, what was it called? Yeah, go ahead. And he jumps up on the white, with the white buffalo head yeah and just stabs himself so he dies so he died and doesn't get like dissolved right i love that, that was scene was fire, so fire bro. to me the way they shot that and in in, in slow motion of oh him going back gosh, dude bro. i thought that was just so amazing but klaus's uh, there were two storyline two to three storylines that i really enjoyed mm-hmm. uh and the the rest of them i kind of were like oh, eh, about right. Yeah, uh, Klaus was one of them. Yeah, Klaus five, five has always been so interesting to me. Yes, so he's the kid, but he's actually old, right? Because he's, like <laughs> he's lived such a long time. He was stuck in the first season. He was stuck in it, and he didn't know how to get Post, back. Post apocalyptic, and he finally figured out how to get back when he was like in his sixties or seventies, right? But he came back as, as a kid, as how he left, as he left as a right, kid, as a kid. So he's still a kid. That's funny, and I love. Because uh, five has the most interesting, like the most interesting aspects of the show happen with him. Like as yeah. far as like the time travel stuff goes, yeah. Because he's always trying to figure out what's happening. That, that he's the brains thing, of the operation. He, he basically, is. it comes out that he's the brains. He's of the always operations. the brains of what's he's, happening. He, he actually started the commission. Um, right, is what you find <laughs> out. But I love that how they showed that, and then he like he doesn't have the tattoo. Right, his arm isn't cut off. And they brought Pogo back too. Yo, the, the monkey when, ape po- dude. when Pogo was in there, bro, do, do, tattooing do, do, the, the dude, bro. <laughs> oh, oh shoot, man. man! I was like, "Yo, Pogo, man, he hit the streets, man. What's going on here?" And then I liked actually Diego and uh, 
Lilith? Lily. Lily. Yes. Uh, I liked their... That whole dynamic. Their was dynamic was actually... I really liked that they tapped into that. Yeah. That was interesting to me because they, they gave you just enough of it, mm-hmm. you know, and then her tricking Diego into thinking, thinking that, 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 that kid she, was his. Yeah. Yeah. And... Dude, everybody freaking dies at the end, by the way, man. Jeez, dude. Anyways, not every... Oh, we'll get there in a second. Yeah. But anyways, I like that storyline. The storyline I really didn't care for, and I love her character, I just didn't like this storyline, was Allison's. Allison's storyline to me was I wasn't very there, frustrating to it me. It was mad frustrating. Like, I get it. Right? I get what they were trying to but do. But they beat you over the head with it they beat over, you over and over and over. And because, and over. So when they came back to the timeline, she has a kid. Right. And a husband. And they're gone. They're gone. Because they're in a different timeline. Different, I get it. Whole, She's upset. Whole different timeline. But she goes down this dark. Because technically they never existed. Right. They, right. And it's just like they they kept beating you over the head with it. And to be honest with you, even at the very end of her in the timeline resets, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. And she sees her kid. was not a payoff for me. No. It was just not a payoff for me. I'm like, you screwed everybody just for like, I understand, but I like, I didn't understand. You know, yeah, what it saying? was a weird thing, like how I they made how 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 mean they made her when she was like, she was always the sensible. She, one. she was the glue that kind of held a lot of stuff together. And, and the other one that I didn't like, bro, was how they brought Ben. Like, I I get what they were trying to do, but so Ben, who was the ghost that died, mm-hmm. um. Not the ghost that died, but the kid. He's one of the the he was one of the seven. Yeah. He died, and he was a ghost that basically hung out with Klaus all the time. So right. he's still part of the team. Um, that was a super dope point in the season two. But um, he is actually in the Sparrow Academy because the timeline reset, mm-hmm. and so he actually still was one of the right. kids that um, Homeboy picked up. So. How they made his character, bro, I was like, yeah, I Again. get what they were trying to do because they were like, oh, they, we got to make him so totally different than the other Again, Ben. I think they did the... the but they, they it did, was like, they come did both, on, bro. We they did it. both of those kid. characters very dirty to me. Like, you don't... I, for me, for TV shows, there's got to be some sort of arc to a character, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So... They had no arc to me. They were the, completely the same. Nothing ever happened. There yeah. were dicks the whole way through. The whole, and you're the, like, the whole there's no time. payoff here. Yeah. Like, even at the very end, nothing happened. Uh, at one point, I thought, because it was like episode eight or nine. Yeah, somewhere. yeah. There's when, ten, when him ten and episodes. Klaus was chilling. Yeah, when yeah. they all got drunk at the wedding, <laughs> right? And you're like, oh, yeah, cool. Dope. Klaus is bringing him out. Yeah. Like if, even if you saw small incremental changes, like in, and he was still kind of a dick. Yeah. I could have, I, I, uh, I, he woke he, up, he woke up and was a dick again yeah. and never came back from that. Even yeah. all the way at the very end. Yeah, it was straight I to was the like, end. Dude, nah, bro. Nah, like bro. Uh, I'm good. And then, um, the Vanya turning into Victor. The, I don't have an issue with that. The, uh, her character story with, uh, the Lester guy mm-hmm. who, she met when he was a kid in 1960, whatever, when yeah. in season two. Yeah, and then he got kind of. They were he she they were waiting for her to return. Right. She never did. Obviously, it was only like a couple days for her. Right. It was 50 years for him. Right. He's an old man, and he's an old man, and, and he, had, he had absorbed her powers. I, yeah. You know what? And it, see, this is why I had a little bit of issue. Like that scene was dope, and the way they ended because they killed. Um, What's her name? Allison killed him because yeah, basically he killed all the moms, right? Right. All their mothers. All he their killed mothers. every single uh, of the superheroes' mothers, right? right? On accident. Uh, and I was like, so she was like, oh, I know. What and then the camera cuts away, and then he's in a trunk. Right. And that was it. That was it. And I was so unsatisfied with that, bro. I was yeah, like. It was just weird. I was like, oh, well, because I kept thinking he's not dead. She like yeah, did yeah, something yeah. to she, she, you know, her power is like she could talk to you and make you do things. Yeah. So I was like, oh, she probably just talked to him and said, hey, play dead for the next five hours while right. I stick you in this trunk so right. I could confuse everybody. Yeah. And no, that didn't happen, bro. bro like it was it, it like was that such an whole abrupt end, and it was like story what the hell? because they kept showing him throughout the whole series, throughout the whole season. 
and then it was like then he was there and then he wasn't and then it was like okay and then even with uh victor's character it's like it was almost like she was so pow- like they showed that she was so powerful in the first two seasons mm-hmm. that they were like well we got to make her like not that powerful and i'm like nah dude like she's 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 or he in the, in yeah the, in the right um in the movie or in the, in the tv show whatever by uh, the way if you don't know is the actor is played by uh elliot page formerly known as ellen page yes uh in the show she's vanya and then let's i think the first it's maybe like first in the or second s- episode maybe right at the, the end of the first episode, beginning bro, yeah. of the second for sure the gender Changes, she goes to Victor. Yep. I, and I think that's just so that she didn't have to wear a wig and play a woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? For sure. And actually, to Which whatever is gender. Yeah, cool. I, for- no issue with that. It's just the way they kind of du- they wrote her or his character. Yeah, like, made, made him, made made him of, like. Yeah, kind of. Kind of. She's. She played a weak character in season one and two, which obviously female then. And then it like, was the like. The thing was like, oh. Like I, they got my conf- I got my confidence, confidence but, but then like didn't do anything made him mad weak. Like, yeah, it was so weird. I was like, like I wanted when they, that part when they bro, were arguing, that the part world. when they were arguing, uh-huh. I want, I wanted him to be like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like as soon as, as soon as she said, I heard a rumor, I wanted her to be like, like that would have yeah. been, that would have been fire to me. But even the, uh, so, okay. If we got the crap, uh, we got the good and the crap, and I want to go back to the good a little bit. I like what they did with the dad in this season. I really that did. That was crazy. I really like. That's the way you write a character, in my opinion. That right? Was, that was dope. Because in the beginning, he's being drugged by the sparrows, the sparrow group of uh, superheroes, yep. making him sign like basically his fortunes away his, his and stuff away. like that. Yeah. And Klaus comes in. And it's like, hey, Dad, you know, yeah. like, what's up? And then they form a relationship. They form a relationship. And he obviously takes him off of the drugs. Right. Because he's like, Dad, I've been here before. I I can take you off the drugs. Right. Just pretend like you take yeah, him. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so he gets kind of his mojo his, back. His wits back, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. you know. And I love the way they played it up. Because they played it up as he's, I'm not the same person, the same dad that you had in the other timeline. I'm right. a different dad. right. I'm different. And it did. It it kept showing you different stuff. And you're like, this is fire. This is fire. He's still kind of a dick, but Mm -hmm. he's not like such an asshole. Right. You're like, I could get behind what he's like trying to do. For sure. And then it goes all the way to the, like, to the second, to the last episode, episode nine, where he straight up kills Luther. Was it episode nine? It was episode nine. Because then episode 10 is when they went into the room. Mm, okay, okay. Oh, the, yeah, you're right. Uh, you're right. You're right. You're right. It was all on the other side on episode 10. Yeah, homeboy hit that alien arm, came out with that oh, alien arm. And, I was like, oh! <laughs> and it was cool because even uh, Allison, it was probably her best moment of the TV show, hits him in the head, and you could see, like, the alien brain, in, like, because they show, like, the inside of his yeah. brain, dude, and it's all, like, yellow blood Green, or greenish, greenish yellow. yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, showing that he's, like, an alien. Yeah. Ah, oh, dude, it was so that was fire. fire. That was fire. You know? I am confused about the ending, though. I do want to talk about the very ending. Um, So, obviously, to me, there's going to be a season four. Th- they could... T- they could technically they the way they did do it anything. they don't have to do anything but it, it they were, left it open so this is what i this there is, are this questions is my, this is my theory on and this. it's questions about the dad this is my theory on this okay. right let's get into some theories i think so at the end at the end uh they're going into the the new universe mm-hmm. um allison, they save the world basically. they save the world allison stops uh Hargreaves from doing whatever he was going to mm-hmm. do and then everything But she is, finished the 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 process. She did but I I don't know if it was the total process. This is what I'm this is what okay. I'm saying. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're right. She might have actually finished but I, who knows? Was that the full process was it not? You know what I'm saying? Was that was was that what was going to happen the whole time? Like I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know. Yeah. So Basically, they end up in this new universe and they have no 
No powers. No powers. Nobody has any powers. Like Luther's mad skinny. It was weird seeing. It was, was weird like, seeing him like that, dude. I was like, yo, what happened to Luther, son? <laughs> I was like, yo, come on, son. You well, even mean? five, he lost his arm in the battle of season in in episode ten. And he had his arm back. And he got his arm back. Yeah. Uh, Diego lost his fingers during a battle. He got his fingers. Back. Everything they so everything was reset. Reset. But they had no powers, right? And, and the, what was really weird, though? Okay, keep keep going. Though. I want to hear. No, nah, so so I don't know if maybe they they're not sure if they're going to do another season. Maybe that's it. Maybe they and were so like, they uh, left it to like let's see what the people want. Like we'll make it so that if we end it, people can be like, all right. Nah. Or if the people are like bring it back, they might have a whole another script ready. Oh, I'm sure they do. Well, because you know, they, it's all they based show off of a, up to a comic book anyway. So. Hargreaves is alive. It's still it's Hargreaves, but it's in a different universe. Uh-huh. Did you notice every single building had his name on it? Every single building had his name. All on the high rises had his name had on his it. Name. And he was in the middle. He was in the, the middle. The tallest one, mm-hmm. looking down over at where they emerged. They out. emerged from. Uh-huh. And then some lady comes up and she's pregnant. The was old- she in the show before, bro? What? The woman that was pregnant. Not in the season, but she oh, looked mad one, familiar, dude. The one, um, the Hargraves was like holding the hand at the end? Yeah. Yeah, that's his wife. From I from season one, I think his whole goal was trying to get her back to life. I think that's so what was, they were they I, were trying to play. They, they didn't really tell you, but that that was like the clue at the end, basically. Like, okay, this was my wife had been trying to save this whole time. Okay, but I'm not telling you. I mean, he took all these steps right to get these kids when they were first born to train them. That was to from do this season specific, one. Yes. But they okay. kind of slightly alluded to that in season one. They didn't like show her die. They just kind of told you the story of the Umbrella Academy. That's right. And she passed away. That's right. And he created the robot mom, which they called mom. Right. She was in this because she died in, I believe, the, the first season of the Umbrella Academy. But they brought her back brought in her season back. three. Right, because it's a, a different, different universe. universe. Yeah, different timeline. But, yeah. yeah, she's the robot mom. Right, right, right. But okay, the real okay. Mom, That's what I was trying to remember. I was like, man. but I His wife, I should say. Not the legit. mom, but like his wife. Yeah. yeah. Origi- he brought her back. I think wife. it was the whole thing and to bring her back. You know? She was pregnant. So, I don't know. So, yeah. I don't know, man. The ending was kind of weird. The other thing was... How did Allison get out? Uh, why would? Where was she with not the group? Why was she not with the group? I don't know. She. It was weird. It was like, it like the screen went to white. Like she pushed the button to like save the restart the universe. Right. And it kind of went to white. The whole screen went white. Right. And then it kind of went back. And then they show you her. Going into the house. And going into the house. And I'm like, uh, okay. And then the kid and, and... And then it showed everybody else exiting... That, this, yeah, the, the area. Middle, like they had a name for it. It was like a middle ground between universes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it was just kind of weird. She wasn't there, and then I don't understand why Sloan... Uh, what's his name? Big dude. Uh, oh, the girlfriend? Uh, yeah, the wife. The wife, yeah. Um luther's yeah uh wife sloan why she wasn't there why she, why she wasn't there i didn't understand that but maybe like, this is maybe she a, was in the middle she was i in know i know that's that what I'm protected saying. area it's not like it was she a different was, timeline so technically she didn't exist yeah but she was in still i get it i, I, I that's why i'm confused because you're in this middle spot that has you no know, it. it has nothing you're in like limbo right it's like when you die, right? You're in purgatory. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it was. It's like you're in a weird spot. Technically, you're Luther was dead, bro. So Luther was dead. He was. Yeah. And he came out. And he came back. But I, I don't know, man. Yeah, I don't know. It was weird. There was a lot of weird endings ending to that that I just didn't really care for. Yeah. I so don't think it was terrible. But are we are we giving are we giving the season a score? Oh, I'm giving it a score. For okay. Sure. Uh I'm going to give this a seven. This is a seven for me. Uh, I there were episode ten is absolutely amazing to me, mm-hmm. like just like visually wise and yeah. them fighting. We didn't talk about them fighting like the oh the little guardians, the guardians yeah, of the the yeah. hotel, the Bolivian yeah, hotel. Was crazy. And it was different. Awesome ones. man. Yeah. But like so, so I give it a seven because I like 
like half of the story beats, and then I would say the other half I was like, eh, on. I agree with you. It's a, it's a to me, it's a seven. Um, like you said, there's they do they do some things very well. Visually, it's dope. Action wise, it's dope. There mm-hmm. is a good amount of action. There is, yeah. Um, but yeah, some of the storylines kind of lost me. And the ending is like, okay, like we're like, are we getting a season four? Are we not getting a season four? What right. does it look like? I thought season two, just to put it in a little bit perspective. I thought season two was the best season. Easily. Uh, season one was good. Season one was good. Set season, up for season, season two, two which was, was amazing. amazing. Was amazing. And then I think season three was good. Season three, you know was what good. I'm saying? So I kind of had like this, you know. Yeah. They hit the uh, pinnacle with two for me. Little little roller coaster. I loved two. Two, two was, was crazy. Amazing. Two was dope. Me. And but. Three was okay. Two was what made you want to go see three. It was like, oh man, two was. Oh yeah, crazy. yeah. I, and I still like the show. I still want them to make a season four. So I hope, I hope they do make really a season four because I need. I got some things need to be answered. I would like. Yeah, I would definitely. I like need to some see answers. It. And I don't like. Don't be making people who got powers regular man to end a season, bro. To to, to end a series. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't nobody want to be regular, right? It, it was so weird. It just didn't make any sense to me. But maybe I need to, to rewatch that. Knives, he dropped the knife. I'm like, no, man. Right. Everybody <laughs> tried something and nobody could do anything, man. I was like, man, whatever. You're trying yeah, to teleport, whatever, man. Come yeah, on, man. It's disrespectful, man. <laughs> Anyways, you guys stay safe. You guys stay positive out there. Yeah, man. And uh, thanks for watching. Mm-hmm. Uh, check us out on the next one. Peace. Peace.